Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's under the banda and today we are going to be doing uh, The Last of Us Part 2 slash remastered uh, play, uh, not playthrough, but the uh, review for the game. I mean, it's going to be very mediocre uh, review because this is my first time reviewing any type of video game that I have played on the YouTube channel. So, bear with me if it is absolutely toxic review. In my opinion, many people may agree with it, many people may disagree with it, and that's completely fine. At the end of the day, this is my opinion, and uh, that's completely fine when people disagree or agree with it. Uh, let's, first of all, let's talk about the whole controversy behind the game trailers about the announcement when it, when the game initially started to be a thing. Um, so, I think it was first or third, or somewhere along the lines when... The trailer showed a show and then they took the, the video down because it was essentially a false advertisement and then they later re-uploaded the video and be like oh this is what actually happens in the game. Instead of being Joel it was Jesse. Like how the fuck do you mess up a trailer? like that and spread essentially misinformation about the game which what they did and that's where the for me the controversy that I really liked, the jo uh, liked Joel in the first game and seeing him in the trailer and then basically at the beginning of the game killed off was left me kind of salty if I were to be honest. With that being said, let's talk about the story. The story was alright. It was or for me it was between alright and decent. Not awesome. It could, could have been better if they did a better job with it at the initial announcement about the game and the initial trailers about the game. But, like, the whole aspect of the story was kind of alright, in my opinion. And... I don't blame anyone, ex I don't want to really essentially blame anyone about the game and how it turned out. And if you have paid any amount of like, um, any amount of uh, attention do what has happened for the past uh, several weeks about the game or past a month or so give or take uh, then there uh, has been some stuff surfacing such as Ellie was actually supposed to kill Abby at the end and they completely scraped that because of some aspect of while yes, originally the plan was the Ellie actually having a revenge or Joel, which was the whole, uh, the whole first part of the game, right? I should be play Ellie, basically, and then then it completely shifted out the towards the end of the game. I think where developers were like. We don't actually want to kill off Abby. We want to keep her alive. 
and that's where they were like, yeah, we're just going to scrape the original ending that we had actually planned and make a new one, which is the one that you see within the game. And while I, you know, in, a, in some sense, I do see that because you don't want to, the game to be wholly about the revenge. You want there to be a rep not a reputation, but another word that I can find a word for. Um, that's mainly because of the fact that my English language is self-doubt. But I digress. Uh, <clears throat> so story arc has different uh, arcs. Revenge, and then... Oh, it, it was forgiveness. I'm such a dumbass. So it went from, uh, fuck's sakes. It was revenge and then forgiveness. That's right. Like I said, it's going to be mediocre. Uh, and I don't have much of an issue of it that, but they could have done a better job of delivering that. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think before Ellie actually, I think before Ellie actually killed off the cup, I think before Ellie kills off me or I don't know. I'm gonna just call her uh, May because I I can't remember her actual fucking name. Uh, basically the per pregnant uh, NBC. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that. Uh, where as soon as she kills off Owen, she was like, "Oh fuck! What what the fuck am I doing?" And we try to talk to her and make her understand what the fuck is going on and why I am here. Or even before killing off Owen, she couldn't have explained. I just want to find her. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. <laughs> this is just so stupid. But I digress. Uh, and being like, I don't want to kill you. I just need some information. That's it. I don't want to kill you. I just need some information. I'm not going to make promises that I won't kill Ellie. <laughs> Abby! Fuck's sakes. I'm not. Uh, Ellie not making promises to kill Abby and then the uh, forgiveness arc happens. That's where it could have been kind of. Better, I suppose. I'm just blasting my ideas out of the fucking uh, wild, and I know they sound extremely fucking stupid, but that's just how I see it. Anyway, after that, Abby, that story was alright as well. Uh, so, in terms of num numbering error, uh, uh, five. Uh, in terms of numbering uh, um, rate, I would give a five point five out of ten for the uh, for the story. Uh, when it comes to the gameplay, however, I really liked it. I really liked it. The fact that there are different things that you are supposed to kill and attack and yada 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 that was really fun the different guns the different characters all of it was awesome even if the story was kind of mediocre or 5 out 5.5 5 out of 10 or was it 5 out of 10 i don't even remember i have a short term memory for today um and I think the story, not the story, but the gameplay was absolutely uh, great for me. I really liked it. 
It really immersed me into the game as soon as I disabled everything hard related. That's where I was like, okay, I need to figure out how to play the game without having bottom bottom bumps on the screen. And as you watch the gameplay as me playing Ellie, you see me die quite several times, especially when I chase after what's her name? Uh the person who you are supposed to go after in the a hospital? Yeah, that girl. I don't remember her name. Six. Uh, and uh, where you essentially have to chase her and do all of that stuff. That was awesome. I really liked that. Uh, also, the inclusion of dogs was really interesting. Because they weren't part of the first game, as far as I remember. Uh, that, that's what it was so u unique about the gameplay, is that you essentially had to do different things. And in the latest episode, Josie also may die a couple of times. Because of having no, no button prompts. Especially in the later of the game where I'm at a village uh, trying to save uh, a sister, but she refers her as her, her brother. I know LGB stuff, which I'm completely fine with. I don't really care. You do you. It doesn't bother me at all. Um. I think, yeah, it was really awesome, uh, I really liked it, and the boss fight I was happy, was really unique, like, god damn, I don't know if it's called a boss fight, to be honest, but it was fucking fun, um, I was kinda worried that I'm gonna die a couple of times at that point, uh, at that area, but surprisingly, I died once because of a bo uh, missing bot button prompt. When you like axe that fucking giant asshole that chasing you, yeah, that that thing, that fucking monstrosity. Um, that that that's that was the point where I was like, I want to enable button prompts. Because I don't remember them. But at the end of the day, we pulled it through. Uh, I ended the game a couple of hours ago at this point. Um, overall, I would say I would give uh, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it could have 9.5 out of 10, but again, the story was kind of lackluster in my opinion but that's pretty much it um i'm going to i'm not going to lie right now uh the last episode might go live around 19th or 26th i don't know at the moment but that's the calculation i'm going to go with it might be earlier than that it might be later than that who knows at this point since i have so many series going on um but yeah i think i i really hope you enjoyed this first review of my playthrough of the last of us part 2 more to come eventually if i feel comfortable with it and stuff like that but anyways i will see you guys very very soon hopefully with another review but without that further ado see you guys in the near and by future bye bye and hulk <sighs> smash Yeah. <laughs>